I'm very excited about the, the new release of Fedora, Fedora 15. Um, this is really the first full release that I've had as the, as the Fedora project leader. Um, obviously a huge release for us, um, both in terms of, of its impact on, on the end user and, and, and a new desktop and things like that, but on some of the core underlying technologies inside the, the Linux distribution as well. Some of the new features in Fedora 15, we've got the GNOME shell, the GNOME desktop um, as, as an end user interface. Um, we've got a new initialization system called System D. Um, we've got a, an application called Box Grinder for creating uh, virtual machines and appliances. Um, we've got a new dynamic firewall. And from a systems administrator standpoint, we've also got a uh, consistent network device naming infrastructure. BoxBrander is a JBoss project, so it's part of uh, you know the JBoss community. It's actually the first JBoss project that we've got in Fedora now, and we're hoping that it'll actually be um, a pretty good start to a more long-term relationship there. It's basically an appliance creator, so that when you have a, a certain operating system that you want to have in a cloud somewhere, you can feed it in some information, and it'll pop out you know exactly what you need, just enough so that it's not the whole operating system, it's, it's exactly what you need, what you want, how you've configured it. Boom, it's in the cloud, you press a button and it, it's ready to go. One of the features that I really like in Fedora 15 is the new GNOME 3 uh, environment. To me, GNOME 3 is really a new way of interacting with a free operating system like Linux. It features a very clean and elegant uh, desktop look, um, all of the tools that you need to interact with, things like like um, your battery status or your network or your Bluetooth uh, communications with other devices um, are all managed um, right in the interface but it's done in a way that is not really intrusive on the rest of on the rest of the desktop environment and um, one of the things I like is the fact that the application that you're currently using really becomes the focus for what you're doing uh, if you want to get at other applications that's really easy because you simply move the mouse up to the upper left corner or you can hit any of a variety of different keystrokes like uh, the super key or logo key on a keyboard and it brings up uh, the activities uh, uh, overview for your uh, for your for your shell and from there you can select applications that you want you can select other windows that you have open you can select other workspaces um, it's just a really clean and elegant way to interact with your desktop one of the great things about the fedora developer development cycle and, the, and our development mantra is that there's a place for everyone that wants to help out. We really don't want just end users of Fedora. We want people who are helping to, to collaborate and contribute and be part of, of something bigger than themselves. It's not just about the bits and the bytes that we ship every six months. It's really about the community that we're building. It's about the, the team and the personal relationships we, we build with other people that makes Fedora what it is.